How's the colours? First cast. Oh, shark. oh <laughs> what is that? Coot, coot, oh. As you can see, really easy to lose a diver. Hey, what's day? Hey! Hey! Holy school. Hey, good day and good morning from wherever you are in the world. My name is Aaron or Az, and if you're just tuning into this series now, I'm traveling up the Blue Highway. It's now the 29th, so 17 days I've been solo out of this boat, living off the land, exploring the coastlines, the islands, and the outer reef when the weather permits. And up until yesterday, I've been by myself, but yesterday afternoon, I went into a remote community here in Northern Australia to pick up fuel, to pick up water, provisions, but also a plus one. My Mrs. Nikki, who's got a week off work, and she's gonna be up here for the next few days. Concentrating! <laughs> and the weather has just proper turned it on. It is zero knots of wind, clear skies and I don't know how long it's going to last for but we jumped in this boat and we head out to the reef which we're at now the outer Great Barrier Reef which to give you context probably only five weeks of the year you get the weather this good it's this calm so we're going to do our best to make the absolute most of it take you along for the journey the highs the lows the feeds the hunts the eagle eye view of the uh, the environment and the ecosystems I'm pumped it's uh, going to be a little bit of adjustment after the last couple of weeks having a plus one on the boat but I've got no complaints let's do it it honestly gets about this flat for four or five weeks of the year out here. Normally blowing 30 knots and it's just glass out. <laughs> All right, hold there, hold there, hold there. <laughs> How's the colors? Bright orange, purple, blue, green. So healthy, pink and we're gonna jump straight in. Look, you can see all these massive parrots and then trout down the bottom. It's gonna be a really, really good day. I think that's a Mary sea perch down the bottom with the yellow tail. The days do really revolve around the tide and finding good anchorages for being safe at night in the way of random storms and strong winds. So we're gonna have big explore around a few reefs, catch some food along the way. And then I think the game plan is to head into a couple of the, the closer islands to get a good anchorage for the night. Have a go at this. It was an absolute glass out this morning, but it's probably two or three knots of wind now from the north, which is quite nice, but have a go at the visibility. Nikki's at the back there, having a swim around with the camera, seeing what she can see. Having a bit of a suss underwater. wild it's literally 100 meters deep there and one meter deep just on the back of the popper there see where the reef's breaking where those waves are wow nice blue spot yeah great fish even better shot <laughs> it's the smallest one i could find do you see much else yeah it's a mary rass Yep. And a turtle, um, big schools of humphead parrotfish cruising through, enormous triggerfish. First cast. Oh. What do you reckon it is? Did you see it? No, but it's, heavy. it's, it's oh, heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. What is it? BT, I reckon. Could be. Might be a big blue trevally. See the shining blue through it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's massive. That's so here, bring it, bring it around the side. Oh, shark! Sure. 
Yeah, they're one of the most stunning fish. Electric blues through the back. All right, go for it. Back in the drink. Well done. You want to do that again? Yeah. I found this lure on the beach a week ago. Let's see if we can get something. Be careful in there. <laughs> Just drop Nikki off on this high spot, comes up to 12 meters and over there it's like 500 meters or something ridiculous anyway we're just gonna have a pop through this bait here while she checks it out underwater oh, oh yes oh. Oh. get off the reef what is that <laughs> Wow, they're a pretty fish. Amazing colours. Really good eating. Hard fighting. You generally only get these on the outer reef. Come on, mate. You got more fight in you than that. You ready? Come on. Where you going? <laughs> there you go. Off like a rocket. You go all good? Yeah. Sweet. Well, that was unexpected. There's a few more high spots like this along the, the outer reef that we're going to check out. We're just going to hop from one to one to one. Have a fish, jump in. Have a fish, jump in. Keep going. Oh, I've been smoked by something big. Oh no. Wrap me around a reef. See it? Left. Left. I think it's just miles up. Took so much line. Oh, stop it. Oh. What the heck? It's always got no colour left on it. It was too good to be true. And the squall. Pretty rough out there. Well, big afternoon of rain. It started off perfect. We're warm, we're dry, we've got buckets of chai. Buckets of chai. <laughs> so the last couple of hours have been proof that you never know when Mother Nature's gonna turn on you. We woke up this morning thinking it was just gonna be glass out conditions and smooth sailing, but about lunchtime as we were heading to where we wanted to camp tonight, a big storm front, really gray, just sort of advanced on us. And yeah, we got caught in it for a couple of hours. We've had to make a detour to some other inshore islands to seek a bit of refuge, because it looks like there's a, as you can see, it's pretty dark and stormy behind me, light rain and, and probably 20 knot northerly, northwesterly, which is a bit of a bugger of a wind. Unpredictable, short, sharp chop, and yeah, with it a fair bit of rain at this point in time. So sort of pretty regretful to inform that I lost a spear gun over the side in the rough weather. When we jumped out of the water, left it, in between the, the transom and the outboards, just in the back there for easy access, jumping in and out. Wasn't stirred away properly for going through that rough weather. And it was my favorite spear gun, a Rob Allen Timberline 1.2 roller, carbon timber around. It was just the, the nicest gun to use that has just been lost over into the ocean to hopefully wash up on a beach like this some stage for someone to find. If you do, let me know. So here's some footage as a tribute to my gun that's been lost in the last two hours. It's shot me some great fish, caught me some beautiful meals in the, the all too short time that I had her. But that's the way life goes. Onward, upward, gonna find a good anchorage behind this island. And yeah, fortunately, Nikki got that trout this morning. So we've got plenty of that for dinner. Clean enough in here, we'll have a, have a spear. If not, we'll have a fish, so. That's the rundown for now. Morale is taking a bit of a hit, I'll be honest with you morale has taken a little bit of a hit however health is good and with that spirits should remain high what do you reckon a bit out of breath <laughs> <laughs> i think we're on the the better side you can hear it roaring over you can just there. hear the waves roaring over the back of this side of the island nice safe anchorage you're a mountain goat Oh, my foot hurts. 
Holy. Yeah, glad we didn't go around that side. <laughs> it's a raging torrent. The ocean, she's angry. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Led me astray there. Definitely need to come back here for a serious beach clean up with a big, big boat. Some pretty big pieces of timber, eh? Could build a house. Be how many big logs are here? Washed up on this beach. You reckon it's clean enough for a dive? I think we give it a go. <laughs> I reckon another half an hour and we'd be here for 12 hours till the tide came back in. <laughs> the catch of the day thus far. <laughs> Was it a puffer fish? Yeah, wild. To go straight into it to get around the reef. We missed getting around it by about five minutes. This small front just came straight in and we're in, pretty much in the thick of it. Not much you can do though, just ride it out. How good! new meal on the trip getting cooked up this time. It's called fish and rice. <laughs> For the 40th time. <laughs> what do you reckon, miss? Happy? It looks pretty good to me. Tastes better every time. <laughs> Tastes better every time. Today has been a roller coaster of emotions, but I'm very grateful to have this boat. Obviously, in spectacular company. But in this boat, weathering the storm, because I know that on the rifle bird or the salty dingo, it'll be a really wet, really long night. But we've fortunately got the little cabin up the front, even though it's bucketing down and mega windy behind. We've got warm rice and gas to cook a little bit of fish on. What a day. We've woken up this morning and right here is the definition of the calm after the storm. Yesterday afternoon, you just we went to sleep last night, just not at all was waking up like this on the radar. So the adventure continues. We're gonna go find a bit of reef to have a spear because we are all out of trout. A lot of these islands have big fringing reefs around them and from sort of 30 meters deep up until a you know, reef just about out of the water. So we're gonna do our best to get a feed pretty straight off the bat this morning as soon as possible because it doesn't look like our luck is gonna last for very long. That's where the islands are, where we've been camped up. And there is probably three ginormous squalls in one. So we'll see how long we get, but for now, we're jumping in the water. Yeah, what do you call that number, miss? Morph suit. Morph suit. Ultimate safety. That's your dolphin suit? Yep. <laughs> Sun and stinger safe. Sun safety sexy. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> so it is just starting to rain as we're about to jump in the water. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and the sideways rain. <laughs> there was all kinds of rain. Ah. We've got Nikki in the water now. Comes out a sort of 12 meters up to three. It's a bit of a, a high rise. But the water's pretty green after all that, after all that rain and wind last night. And now the northwesterlies have set in about 12 to 15 knots. Looks like there's more squalls on the way. But just goes to show you, it doesn't always go to plan. You've got to adapt, you've got to overcome, you've got to ride the waves. Literally, ride the waves. Of the experience. Started off glass out, and you never think it's going to turn on you until it turns on you. That's the way it goes, it's all good. The vibes down there. Yeah, pretty green. And there was um, there was fish around initially, and then I took a shot and scared them all away. But there was a couple of tuskies and a couple of big trout. Yeah, right. That's encouraging though. <sighs> Yeah, frustrating. frustrating. But you have to, to like, miss them. Yeah, you have to dive down a good like three or four meters before you can see anything. Yeah. And then by that stage, I don't have that much breath left. So. Oh, well done for getting in there. Anyway, we'll try another spot. I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit tough going today. Uh, just squall after squall. The water's pretty green. It's a fair bit of wind and yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to have much respite in the way of some calm weather. So we're going to play it by ear this afternoon. It's also pretty hard to film, like sideways rain coming in all the time in the way of like, yeah, cameras getting wet and the lenses just being covered in water droplets. But anyway, we're persisting. We're doing our best to make the most of it. I'm driving at the moment and Nikki's in the water. We're only in about four meters of water. 
at the moment, but probably the biggest thing I'd say is that it's it's a little bit sus in the way of like losing a diver. Like I'm very glad I've only got one person in the water. I'm just trying to stay as close as I can to her and keep eyes on her because as you can see behind me, really easy to lose a diver. Speaking of which, I need to be on the wall. What do we got? Get him back in. I've got a freeze full trout. There was a bigger one down there, but he was being much more flighty. That's a decent trout. Good shot. How many shots did you take before you got that? Be honest. This is the first one at this trout. Second <laughs> one on this spot. It's about 10 meters in front of the boat. But anyway, we've got that one trout. Jeez, it's, it's proper coming down now. Woo! Oh, where is she? I'm gonna get her to get in the boat. Hey, what's he? Hey! Hey! Jump in! I can't see ya! Jump in! Holy school! There's like lots of little trout and lots of little tuskies, but I haven't seen any like that. Uh, that one was like borderline. Oh, a little bit of a nursery. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, we'll ride this one out and hopefully get another chance to dive. Yeah. Not a very impressive trout. It is an impressive trout because it is a trout. And we had no trout. Is this a new meal? Bye new, bye. A new combo. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Was it a fish and rice? Yeah, it's a it's pretty a, new. A trout hot pot. <laughs> trout hot pot, Aussie hot pot. Yeah. Pretty big green turtle. Up here on the high tide mark. I don't know how it has met its end. Old age or other natural causes or been hunted. Hard to know, but. Big animal. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen this many coconuts, both on the beach and growing. I'll be completely honest with you, the last couple of days have been somewhat of a write off due to Mother Nature doing her absolute best. Squalls, squalls, rain, sideways wind. 2025 knots but we have found ourselves a really nice anchorage in this protected bay long stretch of beach and probably the highlight has been jumping up one of these god's nuts trees there's coconuts everywhere and wrapping my lips around a big juicy fresh coconut it's been a proper treat and i'm ashamed to say that it's it's been a couple of weeks since this whole trip haven't had one so outside of that guys if you've made it this far in the video i appreciate you watching back to basics getting around it most importantly get out here yourself with your friends your family or solo whatever it looks like for you jump on our website, we've got merch there. 